If you're wondering what products to sell in your store and what are the best product research methods to utilize to find those products, stay right where you are because in this very special video interview, I'm going to be speaking with NAR from Zik Analytics and we're going to be going over how to find the best selling products, the most trending products that are most likely to sell on your stores. And not only that, you're also going to see how you can automate the whole process, synchronize those products with AutoDS to continue business automation and also optimize your product pages to convert. There are many secrets that you haven't heard anywhere else that you will find in this very special video interview. This video will be worth your while. Quick intro and let's go. Since product research is one of the most important issues that people have today when starting their dropshipping businesses or when they already got their businesses going, but they still don't know what are the right products to sell and what are the best product research methods, now we're going to talk about one of my personal methods. So Nar, take it away. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move now to my share screen and I'm gonna just move into Zeek Analytics and start showing you how I use Zeek to find hundreds and thousands of products and then use the powerful integration with AutoDS to list those products with just a few clicks. So let me share my screen here. One second. Here we go. So we are inside uh, Zeek Analytics. This is the dashboard. As you can see, we can see here um, the, the main features, the shortcuts. There are plenty of uh, features and functions inside Zeek. I'm not going to go through all of them today. I'm going to jump directly to our new upgrade of the Zeek Pro Plus features. And I'm going to show you how I use them, the autopilot and the turbo scanner to find hundreds and thousands of products from Amazon, Walmart and AliExpress and then use the integration to list them to AutoDS. So, of course, we have the product research when you can analyze product uh, from the eBay best match results, find niches, find dropshippers. Then you have the competitor research where you can just analyze any eBay competitor and the title builder and category research where you can optimize your titles or where you can do category research and find categories. But as I said, I'm going to promise you, I, I promise you, I'm going to record it again together with Liran. And I, as I said, I'm going to jump directly to the automation, eBay dropshipping automation, product research automation. Many of you don't have a lot of time. Some of you already need to scale large amount of uh, stores and there is nothing better than automation. So I'll open here the turbo scanner and the autopilot and we're going to start with the turbo scanner. So I'm inside the turbo scanner right now, as you can see. And the Turbo Scanner is uh, basically a feature, uh, an algorithm that sits on a database of over 5 million dropship products from Amazon, Walmart, and um, uh, AliExpress. The Turbo Scanner only works with Amazon and Walmart, sorry. And you have those powerful filters here where you can decide which products you want to find. Let's go through the filters. So first of all, as I said, you have your three suppliers, Amazon.com, Amazon UK, and Walmart. We are going to add very soon also Amazon Germany, Amazon France, Italy, Australia, Canada, etc. Uh, I will start with the example on Amazon.com. The second step is categories. You can pick the categories you want. Okay, so... Um, these categories are Amazon categories and if I will click on the button here, it will give me the list of all the categories on Amazon and what it can be used for. You can either choose a specific category which help you to focus on specific niche or on specific uh, 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 holiday season. Let's say you want summer product or winter products. You can go to specific category that fits the season. The second thing is you can Say you want to sell all of them, but then you can avoid all the risky categories. So this is adding you another layer of, of um, risk management. You can decide that Amazon devices is out of the game. All electronic is out of the game. Apple products is out of the game. Artcraft swing, we can keep. Uh, CDs and vanilles, we don't need. Books, we don't need. And then if there are other high risk categories, for instance, if you don't want to work with premium and beauty because there is, or, or health and personal care because there are some products with, with uh, ingredients which are not allowed to sell or there are just more risk selling this kind of product, you can just avoid them. Now it really depends on how many products you want to find and what is your strategy, but I want you to see the options. After I, I unchecked all the categories I don't want to get products from, I will click on save and I'll save this category filter. The second filter, is the rating filter. Another way to improve your customer service, your return rate, 
and to just sell better products to your customers. So instead of just looking on the eBay data, we allow you here to filter by Amazon rating and you can say, okay, I want product with only three stars. I don't want product with less than three, uh, sorry, with minimum three stars. I don't want less than three stars because then I take risk selling products that will not sell, right? On the other hand, on the other hand, and this is very important, new product that just got listed to Amazon don't have any rating. So if your strategy is to focus on new products, you should not uh, check it at all. You can just turn it off like this. Let's go here for the three stars for this example. Then you can put only Prime. You have option to include or, in, include or exclude books and DVDs and CDs just um, when you go for all categories and we want to just exclude, uh, exclude specifically this kind of products. You can choose for review count. So here there is minimum 50 review counts. So the review count, again, it's from Amazon. So um, if uh, you want product that guaranteed success, so product that already sold and customer received them and they they were happy about them and they gave them at least three stars, you should put here, I would say at least 10 reviews. If you strategies to go for new ones, you should leave it blank because new products did not get any reviews. But you can even be more strict and say, if you're getting started, I want product with only with minimum of, of 100 reviews, only the top, top, top products, products that I don't take any risk selling them on eBay, okay? And then you have the bestseller ranking, which is basically a second layer of demand, but from the Amazon side. So beside of relying on the sales from eBay, where you say, okay, I want three sales in seven days, etc., you can say I want product with specific bestseller ranking on Amazon. For the people who don't know what is the bestseller ranking, the BSR, this is the ranking uh, the ranking method Amazon use to rank the products from the top performing one to the least. So number one will be top performing. So for instance, number one BSR in category electronics will be the top selling electronic product. This way we know, okay, these are just top selling products. I will leave it on minimum 5,000. Okay. Um, as you know, in Amazon, there is a lot of products. If you will put this number too low, you're just not going to get a lot of products. And now you have on the turbo scan, you only have 30 days sales history. This one, this information here, it's already eBay information. So I want product with at least, let's say five sales in 30 days. I want it to start from minimum price of $20. Now this depends on you. If you look for traffic products, you can put lower price. If you want to look for high ticket products, you can put higher prices, help you to filter. And then I decide how many products I want to get. Now, why this is so powerful? Because you don't want to waste time, right? You want to come here, you want to find 100 products, you want to list them to your store and you want to continue with your with your day doing other things. So instead of just getting a list of thousands of products like it was before, now you can come and say, I want only 100 products. I want only 20 products. I want only 500 products. I want only 1000 products, depend on you. So what you're going to do here now is that you're going to choose, I leave it on 100. And then you even have the filter by keywords. The filter by keywords add you another layer where you can search for very specific products. So for instance, let's give an example. You can go for all categories, okay, any category, but you can say, I want product that having the title, the keyword dog, or the keyword toy, or the keywords gift, or Christmas. This helps you to, to narrow down the search even more and, you know, focus on very specific search terms. So I will not put any keywords now, but just so you know how it works. And now I will click. Just a few tips, just a few tips here. Let me stop you for a sec, Nar. So guys, the more you narrow down your product research, the more refined your results are going to be, but the fewer your results are also going to be. So take that into consideration and really play with a balance here. Know exactly what you're trying to target and try to narrow it down as much as possible to really get the golden results, but don't narrow it too much to a point where you'll only find a few products and many irrelevant products. So just to make a quick distinction here, the left side, what we're seeing from Turbo Scanner up until after the reviews and BSR, the bestseller ranking, this is information from Amazon. This is information, what you want to search, uh, the, the filters that you want to see from Amazon. And the right side from the 30-day sales, this is results that we want to see on eBay. So of course, the search is going to make a combination of them both. And for those of you who are not dropshipping specifically on eBay, but you still want to see product research, you still want to see what's in demand, this is also a good way to do it. So even if you're dropshipping on other places like Shopify or Wix or WooCommerce or anywhere else, you can still use this data and test those products on your selling channel to whatever region you're dropshipping to. Absolutely. This was a great point. We have users from everywhere, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Shopify, 
WooCommerce, people that use this data to utilize it to amazing result, and you're absolutely right. Thank you for this feedback. Very good comments. Thank you. So I will click here on the scan button. I will continue. And once I click on the scan button, this is going to be very quick. The algorithm going to run through the database, pick all the products based on this these criteria, and as you see in a second, basically, uh, the, the, the list is here. It didn't took even two seconds. And you can see that it was completed, the date, how many products it's found, and the supplier you chose. Now, what I want to mention about the products found. What we did here, we uh, made that you will never get the same result. So you don't need to worry, oh, these 100 items will be the same like here. So if this is my filters and I will click scan again, these are going to be the same items. No, as long as you keep your scans here, we have a system to check and we'll never bring the same items. Let me show you how it looks like. We're going to open both of them, okay? And we're going to start with this one. So you can see all the filters you choose and everything. And um, this is the, the first scan, right? You can see the products. Now the Turbo Scanner brings only data from the supplier. So whether it is uh, uh, AliExpress or, uh, sorry, Amazon or Walmart, you will only see the supplier data. And then you will see the pictures, the titles, product ID, which is the ASIN on Amazon, the price, the sales on eBay, the rating on Amazon, the BSR on Amazon, the reviews, and the category. And all you need to do now is to decide, I want to list all of them, or I just want to list few. If you want to list all of them, you click Upload All. This takes you to the integration with AutoDS that I will shortly explain you about it. We will get there, don't worry guys, very soon. And then you just click Upload and the product will go there. And, and you can also export CSV. Some prefer to export CSV to optimize titles and stuff like this. Now, there are other things we see here on the list. We see the Vero sign means this product is a, a Vero brand or, or, or a risk keywords. And we have spatial, uh, we developed spatial uh, protection here that together with AutoDS protection, we'll have double protection. Uh, and we'll discuss it also on the part of the integration. Now, I wanted to show you the result. You see this, these are the products here. The product here are completely different, it's completely 100 new products to list. So all you need to do is to come here, generate scan, wait two seconds, get 100 listings, list it to your store, next. The next day you come, you do again. The next day you come, you do again. As simple as that, less than 10 minutes include the optimization on the AutoDS side. So this is how the Turbo Scanner works. It works the same with Walmart. The only thing that's important to mention on Walmart that um, I suggest to put sold by Walmart here in the filters and that in Walmart products has less rating. So don't try, I mean, if you look for just few products, you can go in the street and say, I want only five stars, but be aware if you need hundreds of products, I would turn it off completely because most of products don't have rating on Walmart, okay? But uh, it works exactly the same way, so I'm not gonna go through it like I did with Amazon. I just jump directly to the next feature, which is the autopilot. Now, the autopilot is a, an advanced, I would say an advanced version of the Turbo Scanner, which brings the data from eBay and from your suppliers, match it, and then gives you the opportunity and allow you to optimize your title as well, and also allow you to, to filter by profit and return on investment. Let's see how it works. So I will click here on a new scan, okay? I will uh, start with filling the filter. So first of all, you can name it. Now why it's important to have the name option, mainly for the big sellers who have who are working with virtual assistant and want to know which virtual assistant run, which scan, this is one thing. Other thing is if you have some specific things you want to mention yourself, like some people focus on prices, some people focus on niches. You wanna make, you wanna mention it in the name, you can mention it in the name. Then here we also support in AliExpress. So if you're dropshipping from AliExpress to eBay, you can also use automation from AliExpress. Uh, the rest is Amazon.com, UK and Walmart. And as I said, Amazon, Canada, Australia, uh, France, Italy, and uh, the rest coming very soon. Then uh, you will do it again with the categories. So again, here I unchecked the, the books, cities, vanilles, electronics, and Apple products, okay? Uh, and other things we did is anytime you will run a scan, you will don't need to pick the filters again. So it will save the filters automatically for you. Then you have only prime. Of course, you want to, to check in only prime and you have the include similar items. What are those similar items and, and how they are beneficial for you? What we did was on top of the uh, uh, algorithm that match between the eBay products to the Amazon products and supposed to bring the exact same products, we say, you know what? If we can't find the exact same products, let's create an algorithm that brings similar product. 
Now, I don't know if you ever heard about the similar products method, but this is one of the methods to increase your profit and generate a lot of sales, mainly when you are, when you already have a big store. Why? Because you take a product with, from a niche with high demand, okay, from a keywords with high search volume and high sales, and then you bring something similar to the market. This similar thing, this similar thing, what, what it does, is it brings something new. So let's say you have an iPhone cover uh, in a green color, and now you bring exactly same one in red color, you bring something new to the market. You offer something new. So first of all, if the algorithm like it, push it to the top because it's new. Second of all, all the people that didn't like the green cover will now have an option to buy the red one. And the one who like red will take it, right? Even if it's cost a little bit more. So if you need to list a lot of product, I highly suggest to check the include similar items. It will bring you bigger variety of products. It's one of the best way to differentiate yourself from the competition. You want to be different. It's, it is not a copy and paste game. We're not copying and pasting what other sellers are doing because they're already doing it and they're already succeeding at doing it. So who are you to come and copy and paste? But if you do uh, uh, optimize your product pages, which I will show you to do in a few minutes, and also add similar items. And I keep stressing over this over and over again. Add similar items to those that are working well for you. This way, you're going to start your own selling trends. And with this feature right here, it's going to automate that for you. Exactly. And, and, and this is the hard part because usually to bring similar product, you need to do the work manually. You need to see and see that it's match. But here, we did the algorithm for you. And Liran, ex I couldn't explain it better than Liran. We don't want to copy paste. We want to be different. We want to create value. This is how you succeed with business. Great uh, feedback, Liran. Thank you very much. So I will continue here. I will exclude this right now just for the example. But uh, you know what? Let's turn it on just so you see the, the type of similar products it's speak. Then uh, I'll keep the average rating on three. Here I have five review count and 15,000 best selling ranking. You can play with it, as Liran say. The more, the more, the higher the numbers, the more uh, narrowed down your result will be. So you have to play and find the balance. And now on the eBay side, we have many more filters on the turbo scanner you can add more layers of demand validation competition validation so you increase the chance that you will sell the product you list so you can say i want product with maximum 50 competitors or 25 competitors okay and i i want products that have at least three sales but not in 30 days in 14 days okay so there are more products that's selling right now okay you can choose return on investment so return on investment is the calculation of how much you, how much money come in, how much profit you make compared to the purchase price on your supplier, for instance, on Amazon. So if you have a um, purchase price for $10 and you make $1 profit, it's 10%. It's 0 0.1 here on the return on investment. I know a lot of big sellers that what they do here, they work with 0 0.2, 0 0.15, 0 0.3, and they don't care. They list thousands of products. So they just focus to make sure all their products have this ROI, and this is how they manage to, to, to scale and manage a large amount of products and still stay profitable. But I will leave it blank for now, okay? You can filter by sell-through rate. So you want product with have high, high sell-through rate and success rate, again. And this way, again, you can choose which product uh, and how they will sell. And then um, you can decide how many products you want to find. 500, 100, let's put here 500, okay? And now I will click start your scan. After I click start your scan, it's come here. This one here takes a bit longer than the Turbo Scanner because we're matching the data and we bring the data from eBay and from the suppliers and displaying together. So we can give it few few seconds and see how it works. Let's um, give it few seconds. Meanwhile, till this load, I can just give you an, an, an insight on how it looks um, after the result come. And after this, we're also gonna look on the result with a similar products. So this is the result, as you can see. Here you have the eBay photo and supplier photo. You can see the accuracy. So in the beginning of the year, we did huge upgrade to our system. We upgrade a technology, we change the way we, we identify the product, and the results are very, very accurate. So really, in the, in the, in the past, and the, the biggest issue of this kind of tools in other softwares, etc., is that the match the level of matching products is low and you make mistake and stuff. Here, it's super, super accurate. Take a look. It's just almost like 99% are accurate and it's amazing. The second thing here, you can see the titles from the supplier. 
the titles from eBay, they are clickable, take you to, to the uh, link. The eBay price, supplier price, the sell to rate, success rate, the sales on eBay, the competition on eBay, the profit in dollars and the return on investment. And then you can decide, you can export by CSV filter by profit, you can list it directly to AutoDS and um, you are ready to go. Now, how do you list to AutoDS? I, I will start explaining on it. And before, I, before we send the products to AutoDS, Liran, Liran gonna take control. So let's start with the explanation and see how it works. So you can either choose specific one, okay? Or you can just say, I want to upload all. So I will click upload all. And then you choose your lister, select lister. The integration, the connection between Zeek to AutoDS, it's super simple. You will come here for the first time, you will choose AutoDS, You'll have a button you need to click. It will open you a, a, a new page with uh, AutoDS login. You do the login and you finish, okay? So we don't even need to go through it because it's super simple. You pick your store from AutoDS. So all the stores that you have connected to your AutoDS account will appear here. You pick them, okay? You decide which marketplace you want, eBay.com and UK. We will add the new marketplaces as we add suppliers from those places. And you decide you want an eBay title or supplier title. Now, why it's important? Because if you take the eBay title, there is high risk. If there is any mistake with the product, wrong quantity, and you put the wrong title, you will sell the wrong product. So I suggest you start with the supplier products. In the future, uh, we're going to add very soon, in a week or two, we're going to add option to edit here the titles. And then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to edit the eBay titles and send the eBay titles. But I only suggest to send eBay titles if you've been checking them and editing them. If not, don't do it, okay? Go for the supplier title. And then you have the, the, the Vera Brands and Restricted Keywords Protection. Now, this is the real magic and people who work will, bu will bulk, they know what I'm talking about. Now, instead of relying only on one side, we have double protection. We join forces together with AutoDS. We bring our data, AutoDS bring their data about brand keywords, we check, the, we remove the brand, the, the Vero brands, AutoDS remove the Vero brands, and you are, you are increasing, you are decreasing the chances of getting suspensions or Vero valuation in, I would say, at least 85 to 95%. So, so you've got two sophisticated da databases checking your keywords, checking your listings to see if there are any uh, man manufacturers that you're not allowed to resell, trademark, copyrighted. All of those items that you are not allowed to drop ship, and, and don't worry for all you beginners who are watching this, there are tens of millions of products that you can drop ship, so no worries. But the ones that you can't, you don't want to risk your business over one wrong product or two wrong products. So on the one hand, you have Zik Analytics database. On the other hand, you have AutoDS's database. Together, you are, you are, if you ever try to import a product that you're not allowed to, one of the databases will let you know and you can make your decision from there. So even if you're a beginner and you want to tread lightly and you want to take it carefully, this is the right way to do it. Absolutely. And now we just dive in a little bit more. What's the difference between Vero brands and restricted keywords? Vero brands are brands you're not allowed to sell, no doubts, okay? So you can leave this checkbox, always check. Restricted keywords are different type of keywords. And uh, let me explain you here. I will go through the result and I will give you an example. So we can see here that this one in yellow color, yellow color is restricted keywords. And restricted keywords are, are usually high risk keywords. For instance, military and treats and battery. These things doesn't mean you can't sell it. It's just in a high risk group. So we want to highlight it for you so you can come here and check it manually yourself. Now, if you want to check it manually yourself, you have the time, you don't list, I don't know, thousands of products. You can come here and you can just, you know, let's say you checkbox everything. And then you go through the one and you check the yellow one. You say, okay, this is okay. We leave it in mm, this battery, not good. I will remove it. And uh, this one engine I can, and I can keep, etc. And then you can upload the selected ones. But if you list hundreds of products and you don't want to take any risk, you just don't want to take risk. You just don't want to even deal with it. You can leave the checkbox on and just list like this with the checkbox on. And what will happen now if I click upload listings, it will immediately be sent to AutoDS. And then you will be able to edit the products and optimize them on AutoDS. So Liran, just before we jump to your screen, just before we jump to your screen, let's see if the scan here finished. Yeah, so the scan here finished. And you saw I, I run a scan with quite, quite a lot of filters and I got 246 products here ready to be list. And, and now it's with the similar items as well. So let me give you an example for similar items. You have this camera and then you have this camera. These are the same product, right? They do the same thing used for the same need, but looks different. So you can use 
you can bring new products to the market because you know this one's selling very good and then Zeek does the work for you of the similar product and then you can check box and list. Now Lilan, if you like and if you're ready, you can jump into your screen. Okay, I'll, I'll stop my share screen. Okay. All right. Enable okay. sharing. I'm, I'm enabling sharing right now. Very good. You can jump your, to your screen and then what we can do, I enabled, what we can do is we can see how the products go live on AutoDS, okay? Okay, so you guys should be seeing my screen right now, AutoDS. Let me just zoom in on it a little bit so you guys can see it better. So we're both connected to the same AutoDS account. So what's going to happen now is NAR is going to import those products. He's going to click the import button that you saw before I shared my screen after he selected all of the products. And now you're gonna see just how fast they import from Zik Analytics to AutoDS, meaning to your dropshipping store, and how fast and how efficiently you can optimize your product pages and get them listed on your store. So Nar, I'm ready when you are. We're here at the drafts section of our store. These products are not live yet. They're waiting for optimization or for uh, importing to your store. So now Nar is gonna click the button and we're gonna see how fast those products are going to be added to the draft section of our stores. All right. All right. Are you ready, Iran? I'm ready. Perfect. Let's do it. So I will go here to the other scan. I will pick the one here just for this example. I'll, I'm going to send all of them. Okay. It's 89 product. Okay. Are you ready? All right. 89 products. Here we go. I will check. I will check out the restricted keywords. We'll only leave the exclude zero brands. I'll click the I'll click the upload listings and here we go. All right, so here you can see create draft zero out of sixty in progress. And you can see that the number is starting to go up. We're already at twenty. Now, sometimes you may see it going up in less than even five seconds, and sometimes it can take one minute. It really depends on the products. It really depends on what you're grabbing. But hey, in the 30 seconds, one minute that we're talking, that I'm talking right now, we've already pretty much finished the drafts creation process, 55, and we're almost at 60. So it really took just a few seconds on the clock to get all of those 60 products. Now, once again, you can find even much, much faster speeds and you can find speeds that could take you up to a minute or two, but it is not going to take longer than that. So if you're here to just import a few products, or if you're here to import hundreds or thousands of products, that is going to take you seconds or minutes at the most, if you're really uh, importing thousands at one time. But the drafts creation is now complete, and we can start optimizing the products. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to choose any product here. And I'm going to show you guys, let's just refresh it. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to really get the optimization going. So let's choose any one of these products here. Let's go with, let me just jump to another page. I just want to grab an item that uh, I really like. So, okay, let's go with this kids building dinosaur toy. Okay, so. Okay, you know what? Let's go with this vacuum insulated uh, stainless steel water bottle because there's so uh, much of them. So this is an item that you're going to find quite a lot and you want to differentiate yourself. You want to make it look better than other product pages. Now, here we need to split it into two. Some people do not want to optimize their product pages and that's fine, especially actually only if you're going with the bulk method. And if you're going with the bulk method and you're importing thousands of products to your store right now, then it makes sense to not optimize every product page, which could take you lots of valuable time. And even if you have a VA, a virtual assist assistant to do it, it's still going to cost you a lot of time and money for them to optimize each and every product when you have thousands and thousands of them. So what bulk importers usually do is they wait to get a sell and only once and after they get a sell on a product, only then will they jump into that product page and optimize it. Other people who are not importing thousands of products, who are importing tens or hundreds of products, but not in the thousands, you definitely have the time to optimize your product pages, and it will definitely, undoubtedly, uh, significantly increase your chances of closing that sell, because now you have a product page that is not copied and pasted, that doesn't already exist out there. So here's exactly how we're going to do that, no matter if you are the bulk importer or, or the single product importer. 
So first things first, in the draft section, I clicked on this drop-down menu right here, and we have the product's information. So we have the product's title, we have the category that it belongs to, everything here, of course, was automated, we didn't have to do anything, we simply imported from our product research on Zik Analytics now to the draft section of our store. The draft section means that it's not published yet, only once we are done optimizing, and we click on the import button right here, only then will it import to your store. It'll move from, from the drafts to the product section. And then you know that it's live in your store and anyone can go in and purchase it. But until then, let's see what are the best ways to optimize our product page. Now, in this example, we're dropshipping on eBay. And eBay, one of the most important things is the product's title. The more relevant your title is to what the search, to what the online shopper is searching for, the closer it is the higher the chances that you're going to be ranked on the front page. Now, of course, there are other things on eBay's Kazini, eBay's um, uh, algorithm, to be able to rank well. For example, once you start having a sales history, eBay is naturally and organically going to uh, uh, upgrade you further and further higher up on their search engine, even if, you're not, even if your title wasn't that good, even if you could have made it better. If your product is uh, relevant to a target audience, if a lot of people are clicking on it, if a lot of people are adding it to their watching list, it also, uh, it also helps you rank higher on eBay search engine. But you want to start with a good title because this is what this is the first thing that's going to get the online shopper to your listing, to have your listing on the front page and not page two or three where the online shopper will never make it. So of course, product research is really, really important. It's the number one most important thing because if you're not importing the right products, they're simply not going to sell. But now you want to increase the chances of that happening once you're done doing that great product research that you did from Zik Analytics. So here's what you're going to do. First things first, like I said, the most important thing is the product's title. So you have the maximum amount of characters on eBay's title, which you can see right here is 80. And right now we've used up 70 of that space, but we're not going to keep this title. So first things first, I want to open up this uh, product on the supplier's website and see what I can do there see what other information I can get on this product. So I'm going to click right here on view source product. And it took me directly to the product on Amazon. Because in this case, of course, we did the product research from Amazon. So you can see that, first of all, this is a very good product. It's got 485 ratings, four and a half stars and up. A lot of people are purchasing this product and it also has lots of different variations. So that's great. This is a good product to test out with. So let's see what we can do to optimize the product's title. First things first, we can see that the seller added his name to the beginning of the product title, which is something that 90, 90 plus percent of the uh, Amazon sellers do. So his name is Camelback Eddie Plus, and he started the title with Eddie Plus. We don't need a seller's title, so we're just going to remove that. Now we want to keep only the main keywords that really describe what this product is in the best way possible, starting with what the product is and then added features and other things. So we're not going to start with uh, stainless steel. We're going to start with, in this case, insulated water bottle or water bottle and then insulated. But I would go as far as to say insulated water bottle, stainless steel. Okay, we'll also keep a vacuum because it has the vacuum effect, which could be something that people are looking for. And 32 ounces is uh, something that people also search for. Some people search for 16 ounces, some will search for 25, and some will search for the standard 32. So we're going to keep that in the title. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to keep that in the title. And let's see what else, because everything else is not really relevant. Look at the title. What is Larkspur? What is this uh, product ID or, or number right here? It doesn't have anything to do with the title. And I guarantee that no one on eBay is searching for this. So there's no reason to keep that on your product's title. But let's see what other words we can come up with. So right now, we've used up 52 out of 80 characters that we can on the title. Now let's make the best of it. So we know that it's a water bottle. We wrote down that it's a water bottle. We can write the variations color. So in this case, we're looking at a blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add blue because people, of course, who are searching for a specific color are going to write the color that they're searching for. Okay, let's see what else. We know we let, first we want to look at the product's features. So let's read really quickly about the item. 25% more flow, leak proof. We can maybe add leak proof. Okay, some people could be searching for that, but we're not sure yet. So let's leave that on the side for now. Vacuum insulated, we already got that. It stays dry. We're not going to write that. Easy to carry, no. And outdoor lifestyle sport type. So those are not keywords that people are most likely going to search up. How do you know what people are going to search up? 
one of the ways to do it is to, first of all, head back to Zek Analytics. You've got a pretty good uh, uh, eBay title builder over there. So I'm going to grab some more keywords from there. And from whatever's missing in the end, I'm going to make up for it. So let me show you how that's done. First, back to Zik. We've got the title builder right here on the left side. Okay, so I'm going to keep the location in, on the US, the date range from the last 30 days. eBay is my marketplace. Exclude phrases if you want to exclude any keywords. But in this case, I'm looking for water bottle. Okay, that's the title. That's the product. Don't add features. Just what is the product that you're trying to sell? Okay, I'm going to search for that. And here I'm sure that we're going to see insulated and we're going to see other things too. So let's take a look. Okay, so first you've got long tail keyword ideas. So this is more than one word that's being put together. So water bottle switch, bottle switch pump. It's not a pump, so we're not going to add that. Water bottle with. So people are searching for water bottle with something. Motivational water bottle. That's the water bottles that have motivational speeches uh, printed on them. Bottle with time, water bottle cage. So in this case, we don't really have anything that's relevant. Let's move to the one keyword ideas, the, the keywords that people are searching a lot for. So for example, you can see that almost 200,000 people in the last month search for the word bottle and the word bottle has almost 3,000 sales on it. So yeah, people like people are searching for bottle and they're selling it and they're buying it. But, uh, but that's not enough, of course. You're not going to be able to rank only with bottle. So water is also, so we've already got that. Gallon, well, we put the ounces. Uh, free, it has nothing with free. Let's see if it has a straw. Yeah, so it's not exactly a straw, but uh, it's not exactly a straw. Uh, with motivational switch, pump, electric. So in this case, let's move to the second page because there's still a lot of searches here. Automatic, universal, dispenser, steel. So stainless steel. Let's see if we added stainless steel to the title. Yes. Okay. So we added that. That's good. So we've already got pretty much here in insulated too. So we've got all of the important keywords. Okay. Also uh, uh, from Zik. So we already had that in the title. Now, where are we still going to make up what we're missing? Here's one of my personal tips. What I like to do is I like to go to the product rating. Okay. I want to read the customer reviews because one of the things that Amazon does, and even if you're not using Amazon as your, as your supplier, some people like to use wholesale suppliers. Some people know how to uh, drop ship from retail suppliers like Amazon. But in this case, what I like to do is you see that they have all of the reviews that mention, and you have all of these buttons with words. Many times I come up with really good words really good keywords to add to my title from what people are writing in their reviews. So these are words that are being repeated in the reviews. And if I can find anything from here, I'm definitely going to add that to my title. Because if people are typing that this is what they like about the water bottle, then this could also be what people are searching when they're searching for a specific water bottle. So here we've got leak proof. And remember that we spoke about leak proof. We said, we'll put it on the side. We're not sure if people are searching for it. This is gonna give you a better indication because if we've got leak proof right here. And if you click on it, you can see what people are saying. So I love it. It's insulated, it holds 32 ounces. It has a handle, it's easy to clean and leak proof. Handle could also be a good word, but this is another, this is a great way to add more words that are relevant. Okay, this is one of my personal strategies that I have no problem sharing with you guys because like I said, thank you. Like I said, product research is really important and you don't want to miss out on this. So if you're not dropshipping from Amazon, you can still use them to search for a specific product that you're getting from another supplier to see what people are uh, searching for on that product and what they're saying about it. But if, you, if you're going to another supplier like AliExpress or Walmart or anyone else, and you're reading the reviews and you don't have this the, the repeated keywords that people are writing, right? Just go over their reviews, okay? Read the top 10, top 20 reviews and look for patterns in the words that they're writing. Okay, so that's another strategy. So I'm going to add leak proof and we'll still have more room. Leak proof. Uh, let's see what other words we can get from the reviews. Uh, water bottle, drinks, cold, bite valve. Bite valve might be something. Let's see what people are saying about that bite valve. So it's not a straw in this case, it's a bite valve. Let's see. And biteable valve. I like the biteable bite valve. The bite valve is great. Yep, let's go ahead. People could search for something that they like. So with bite valve. Remember that from Zik, we said that people like with or and, right? So people are actually adding that to the titles. But the thing is here, now we've got 83 characters out of 80. So we're going to have to remove one word. And when this comes, it's this is always the right way to do it. First, exceed, and then remove the weakest keywords. So from this title, let's see what we came up with. Insulated water bottle, stainless steel vacuum, 32 ounces, blue, leak proof with bite valve. What is the weakest link here? What do you guys think? I think it's the word with, because 
I mean, people are searching for it, but it doesn't describe the product and you want more words describing the product. You can't rank for the words with. So I'm going to remove that, but we still have two more characters. So I will, let's see. That's not going to give us enough. So we're going to leave it like that. So 78 out of 80. So far, I'm going to save the draft just because I like saving uh, every few uh, minutes. So we've got a perfect title for this product. Let's move on. Next, we've got category. So in this case, the AutoDS system, first, first of all, of course, automates everything. So it automated the category in bicycle accessories slash water bottles. Now, I'm sure that there are other categories that it could fit under. But bicycle ac accessories is actually a good one. It could also be um, maybe home uh, home uh, uh, home appliances or anything like that. But it also matches this. So we're going to keep it under bicycle accessories slash water bottles. Then you've got the products tags. And this is something that you do want to add. First, you have the automated, you know, what the system was able to automate for you. So we've got sports and outdoors, sports and outdoor re recreation accessories, and sports water bottles. That's great. Now, if you can think of a category that you can categorize this product so that you, you'll be able to later on come back to the product section of your store and say, I want to analyze how well water bottles sold on my store. I'm selling a whole bunch of products, but right now I only want to see the performance of my water bottles. Okay. It's, it's, we're right before summer. People are going to start, you know, going out on bike rides, traveling, and they're going to need water bottles. So let's see, let's analyze how well this went for me and let's see what other products, what other water bottles we need to add. So what you want to do here is think of one category that you can add water bottles. Now, in this case, we already have it. We've got sports water bottles. But if you, do, if, but if you didn't have a good tag, or let's say if you want to try this out, like uh, if you want to add this to a summer products uh, uh, an, uh, analysis, what you're going to do here is add a new tag called summer products. Then we're going to click here on the plus. And now it was also added as a, as a tag. Then later on, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the product section Okay, you're going to go to the products menu of your store. In this case, we still didn't add any yet, so I won't be able to uh, filter it, but let's see. No, we won't be able to show it here. Okay, never mind, scratch that. But what you'll be able to do is go to the product section of your store, and then you'll be able to filter a tag called summer products. And then I'll only see the products that have that tag, and I'll be able to analyze it really, really well. Okay, so that's regarding product tags. Then you've got policies, payment policies, return policies. I'm not going to go over that in this video. You've got item location. And then, and, and then you've got the monitoring. So do I want stock monitoring? Do I want price monitoring? Do I want automatic orders? I highly suggest using all of them. So of course, price and stock monitoring means that if the price changes on your supplier's website, it'll also change accordingly on your AutoDS system and on your eBay store or wherever you are selling. If the prices change, that, thing, that change will happen on your store. If the stock status change, it'll also happen on your store. So you won't have to worry about selling products that are not in stock and you won't have to worry about selling products that now the supplier raised the price and now you didn't make any profit and you'll have to lose money. And automatic orders, of course, will automate your orders as soon as they come in. So even while you travel, even while you sleep, even while you're in the middle of a, of a vacation, you're making sales, that, that sale is going to happen automatically. The product is going to ship from the supplier to the end customer and you won't have to do a thing about it. So all of that is automated with automatic tracking number updates. So all of that, of course, we're going to keep it on. Let's continue with the product optimization. So now we're on the product description. The product description is important. It's not as important as the product's title, but it is important nonetheless. You don't want it to look unprofessional. You don't want uh, spacing issues. You want it to look good. Okay. And most of the sellers, even on Amazon, you have a lot of Chinese sellers there. A lot of products that you see on Amazon, you'll also see it cheaper on AliExpress or on Alibaba because what people did was they reached out to the manufacturer in Alibaba and they said, hey, can you create 50 units of this and send it to my Amazon warehouse? And that's exactly what they do. That's how most of the products arrive to Amazon. There's Many of them are from Chinese sellers and you can see that by going to their storefront on Amazon. Look at the business's name and, ad and address and you can see where they're coming from. So many of these Chinese sellers don't have good product descriptions. And that happens a lot on Amazon. So you do want to go in and you do want to make sure that that spelling is right, the grammar is right, and sometimes on Amazon, you can find even more images down below in the product's description, like these right here, that you can also add. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to highlight it. I'm going to copy, go back to the product description, come down here and paste all those images. So that took me about a couple of seconds. And now I've got a much better looking product page. So of course, I'm going to go over the spelling, the punctuation, the grammar. But for now, I'm going to save the draft and continue. You can also select what template you want to 
uh, used for this product page. You also have free templates on AutoDS, so no worries. And in this case, we didn't say that we want to import variations, but in the settings of AutoDS, you can also say that you want to import variations. And then in that case, what's going to happen is all of these variations are going to import to your store. But if that didn't happen, or if you want to add your own variations, you can always do that. And this is one of the best tips that I can give you here to really differentiate yourself. So let's say you added these variations, or let's say the seller only had one variation and you want other 32 ounce water bottles. Now it needs to be the same because the title is not going to change. So you want to have the same product. So 32 ounce water bottles right here. And let's say I want to add this one because this one I've got like the the measurements here and it's pretty cool. So let's say you want to add that this is a variation. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to copy the URL, head back to the variations. And here I'm going to click on add variant and I'm going to paste it right here. It just took the product ID from the URL and added it here. Then I'm going to click on add variant. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to have another variation to this product and nobody else is going to have this. And nobody else is going to have this variation. So nobody else is going to have a product page with these variations. And this way you can really differentiate yourself from the competition. You can add as many variants as you want. And inside the edit section, you can edit the fees. So your break even, how much you want to profit in percentages, how much you want to profit in fixed dollar amounts. And if you want to include the shipping price. So if the supplier uh, charges you $5 for shipping, it's going to be automatically calculated into your source price. And then you'll still make the same amount of profit that you want while you will offer free shipping to your customers. Okay, so that's another thing there. Then you've got the general, so what you want the variance name to be, uh, the color, the quantity, the weight, but everything was automated, so we really don't really have to do anything here. Okay, so I'm gonna close that. Then you've got the product's images. So all of the images from the uh, insulated, from the blue insulated water bottle are right here. So of course you don't have to download and re-upload and do all of that. And you've got an advanced image editor. So I just click on edit. And now you're going to see this advanced, advanced image editor right here where I can do a whole bunch of things like add text. Uh, I can add more images. I can add a watermark. I can add my branding. Uh, I can pretty much do whatever I want here. So I can write just, for example, free shipping. I'm not really optimizing it. I'm just showing you guys really quick. And of course, you can play around with the sizes and uh, just pretty much feel free to do whatever you want. Make yourself different from the competition. I've already said that a few times. It's very, very crucial. Lastly, you've had you have item specifications. Okay, so the item specifications once again are automated. I didn't add all of these, and they're being taken from the category. So if you're not in the right category, you're going to see some weird item specifications. But here, for example, it makes sense. So you've got the volume. You can click on the edit button right right here to uh, write whatever you want. And then the style, so we've got 32 ounces, the capacity is two pounds. The color, I don't know what Larkspur is, but it's actually blue. The material is stainless steel and special features that it has. Now you can, of course, add more item specifications, add as many as you want. The more you add, the better, because you're answering questions that the customers might want to ask. And many times they, they may be too shy to ask or they simply won't do it and you'll miss that sale. But if you answer their question before they even asked it, that more that increases the chance of them purchasing the product from your store. Once you're done optimizing the product page and really making it unique, really making it stand out, no other seller will have the same product page as you. And as long as you did your product research correct on Zik Analytics, and remember guys, product research, it requires practice. You're not going to sell the first product that you found. And you may not even sell the 10th or the 20th uh, first product, uh, first products, the first 20 products that you found. It's going to take some time. But the more time you put into it, the more you research, the more you get serious in the business of product research, I guarantee the results will start to follow. And once they start to follow, once you get your first sell, first of all, you'll be excited. You'll get that small feeling of, I just made money online and I did it my way. And right here, you're going to want to scale it. You're going to want to do it more. And that's when it's going to start, you know, like uh, like an avalanche. It's going to just start getting bigger and bigger and better and better because you're getting better at product research. You know what categories are selling more and you know how to optimize your product pages. You know how to automate your product research, research with Zik. And from here, it's all going to look pretty good. But put the work hours down. If it was really easy, if it was too good to be true, then it would have been. It's not too good to be true with the right amount of research, you will make it. So remember this guys, a lot of people, usually after uh, trying once or twice and not seeing any results, they end up quitting. And that is really sad for me to see because I see what happens on the other side 
to those that simply don't give up. They put a few hours down and they finally start seeing those results. Amazing presentation, Liran. Thank you so much. This was really great. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, there is anything else we want to add? Oh, yes, yes, yes. There is the special offer we have for the guys, right? We did it also on the live, but I mean, let's give them second chance. Let's give it here too. Let's give it here too. Okay, so uh, so what we're going to give here, and only to people who are watching this video, and we're going to share the links under this video, what you're going to get if you sign up to AutoDS and to Zik, well, now I will say Zik side, but if you sign up to AutoDS, you will get a 50% discount for the first three months, for the monthly subscription, for the yearly subscription, because you watch this video, because you're serious about this business, because we want to show you how it can and will work when you really work hard on the product research section of your store and you will see the results. I want you to see it. I want you to grab that 50% offer, enjoy your first three months, and then, hey, decide if this is good for you. After three months of hard work, believe me, you will stay. So use the promo code right below this video in the description. That is what you're getting from AutoDS. Nar. Thank you. Absolutely great offer, Liran. And the same goes for Zeek Analytics. You get 50% off for the first three months, whether you take monthly or yearly. We leave you the coupon codes below uh, in the description in both videos. And thank you so much, Liran. It was great. Guys, if you have any questions, you can always leave questions on the comment below. We will answer your questions. And do you want to add anything else before we finish? Guys, for more content, Check out Zik Analytics YouTube channel. Check out our YouTube channel. Do not forget to subscribe. This is where you're going to get the best dropshipping knowledge out there. Go ahead, check it out. And like Nar said, if you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, let us know in the comments below and we will personally answer. Thank you for watching and best of luck with your product research.